are you? Are you my daddy? This. But I'm hungry. Sure, I'll make you some toast. Aren't you late for school? It's Saturday. Kidding me? Looks like Fat Jack didn't make it home again. It's just what we need. One of your customers crashing on my sofa. Still keep those three things in your coffee table. Only two now. I was back on the bookshelf with all the other fiction. I stopped reading it. Do you know why? Yeah, Doc, I do. Do you? How about you tell me instead? Guess I just don't see the point. It helps you move on with your life. How have I not moved on? I moved out when my wife asked me to. Now she's marrying another man. I moved on. Hell, I've been moved on. And how do you feel about that? How would you feel in my shoes? How I would feel doesn't matter. Yeah. How would the good doctor feel if he was one of the unlucky ones who couldn't say no to another drink? And because of that, you lost everything. Your wife, your job. You put people in the hospital. People whose injuries have healed people who wouldn't have been injured in the first place if it weren't for you, Doc. If you were me. About those people who were injured in the accident. No people I hurt. You can say it. Do you believe they've forgiven you? <sighs> who cares? Clearly, Gabe, you do. Have you forgiven yourself? 
When are you gonna stop asking me that? How many times have you asked it yourself? Yeah, let's see. 90 days in a jail cell, 24 hours in a day, that's 2,026 hours times 60 minutes, that's 126,000 minutes. Ah, uh, yes, the architect with a computer for a brain. Anyway, the answer is zero. And why ask a question when you know the answer? And it's former architect. Oh, since when? Since I got fired. That's when I decided to come back home. Little town near here. Well, I'm glad you decided to continue your counseling. You know, it was court ordered, Doc. By the way, you definitely have a lot of work to do. I hope when you came here, Gabe, you weren't running away. Maybe I was going back to something. Daddy came home. Yeah, so? So is our daddy gonna come home? I've told you this a million times. Your daddy and my daddy don't live here. And they're not the same daddy. I know that, but they're supposed to be, right? Says who? Says the lady at Sunday school. You don't go to Sunday school. Maggie goes. She told me. Well, whoop de frickin' do. But you met my daddy, right? Yeah, probably. I just didn't know which one he was. Why do you want to know about Daddy so much? Because Mama don't care. About what? About nothing. I'll take it from here. Anywhere you like. I wasn't sure if I should. Wait, be seated. We're not that fancy here. Coffee? Any? Sure. I'll just give you a few minutes. Emma, darling. Yes, Tate? A pie being shipped in from out of state? Chief, I think that shipment's just now pulling in. Thank you. Ba -ba -ba. Coffee. I heard this was your place now. I remember when it was our place. It's been a long time. How you been? It's probably not the time. Right. Are there any specials? Everything on the menu is special. You can't buy, sure is. Thanks for the review, Tate. That's a chicken fried steak. Hey, Tate, how's that chicken fried steak? Fourth time I've had it this week. I'm not dead yet. There you have it. Chicken fried steak it is. You can't buy for dessert. Good call. T, T, look up. Mm. Will you make me some pancakes? Can't Mama make them? She's asleep in the bathroom. In the bathroom? Yeah, if she didn't want to wake up. Get dressed. Put your shoes on. How come? Do it now. I'll check on Mama. Mama? Mama?
We gotta go now. What about Mama and Alan and Pancake? We'll worry about that later. Hey, kid, come here. Kid. You said we were gonna go camping. I told you. I forgot something. You should have thought of that before we walked a thousand miles. Give me a break. We barely got past the Johnson's place. Wait here. the crap out of me. How to kick your butt for sneaking around like that. Where's your sister? We need to talk. Hey, Angel! Hey! Yeah, you better run, you
a little break. You're not your father, Gabe. How so? Because the people I ran into didn't die? <sighs> well, they didn't. Doesn't that count for something? Blind luck. So you consider yourself a lucky man? to kill me, remember? Yeah, so are we keeping out again? Afraid so, Squirt. But I have to go to the bathroom. Why didn't you go when we were at the store? I asked you if you had to. I didn't have to go then. Dang it, Squirt. Here's your toilet paper. It is not. Well, it'll work until we get some. Will not. Do you have to go or not? You're a meanie head. All right. Remind me, <clears throat> what's the story of Mr. Hyperventilation? Come on, you yesterday when you come in. Funny. Come on now. What's the story again? He used to live around here. Well, seems to live here now, seeing as how he's always riding by on his bike, peeking. He's been back a while. Yeah? So how come he ain't been in here to eat until yesterday? Maybe he eats somewhere else. Like where? Hoolies? Come on, you can catch something sitting on a bar stool. Gross. His name is Gabe Dunham. He was a couple of years ahead of me in school. Ooh. Did you guys, uh... I was 14. So? Uh, J.D. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But this was first love, huh? So what happened? He moved away. When his parents died. You think he moved back because of you? I think Willard and Carleen need their check. Must be almost time for Judge Judy, huh? <laughs> All right. What do you think? 
About what? Is it ready or not? Figured you were checking my work. Looks ready. Yeah? Glad to hear it. Tires? You feel all right? They got enough air? They're good. Good. You want to take it for a spin? Just to be sure and all? I don't know. Think it needs it? Maybe. I could use another opinion. So I just ride it around to... To test it. Check my work. Okay. I guess I could. If you want. Okay then. Angel, come on, we gotta go now. Whose bike is that? It's our bike. It's not. A guy gave it to us. What guy? Where's your stuff? We need to go now. Are we taking the bicycle back? No, we need it. That's stealing. It's not stealing if you need something more than somebody else does. That's the golden rule. It's not. It's too. It's not. You know, you're a pain in the ass sometimes. You're not supposed to say that word. Fine, I'll take the bike back. I'll go too. Back already. Had a ride. Road good. Need any others checked? I was just wondering if maybe you could use some help with stuff like that. Checking bikes. I'm sure, I get a big need for that. Well, I could do other things too. Fix stuff. Oh, you mean like be my assistant? Yeah, like that. Do I have to pay you? Nah, I got lots of money. You could. Maybe give me food. Yeah. What kind of food? Good food. Like, not stuff from the gas station store. <laughs> not stuff from the gas station store. Got it. I mean, what would you do for this, this good food? I could help you check stuff. Fix bikes. You know how to fix bikes. I used to have one. Did you fix it? Yeah, all the time. Sounds like you'd be a big help to me then. What's your name? Tevin. You got a last name? But as your employer, I have to know these things. Day. Tevin Day. Oh, Tevin Day. Gabriel Dunham. Call me Gabe. All my friends do. Well, you being a working man and all, I'm sure you have a social security number. Yeah, of course. What is it? Why you want to know? I have to have it for my records. Don't worry, I'm not going to tell anybody. Okay, well, it's uh, 12. 12? Ah, that's a low one. One of the good ones. You must be a pretty important person. Is your dad famous or something? Yeah, kind of. He was a general in the FBI. Ah, uh, well, that explains it. Those guys get all the good numbers. So when do you want to start working for me? How about tomorrow morning? Don't you have school? Oh, yeah. Tomorrow after school. So you live around here, then? Not too far. I'm surprised I've never seen you before. We just moved here. We? My family. 
Oh. Well, yeah, I just moved back here myself. I used to live here when I was a kid. My father used to fix my bike right here. And when I wasn't riding my bike or shooting hoops, I was just hanging around the treehouse out back. Me and my brother practically lived in that thing. It just sits there now. Nobody uses it. Not your brother either? No. Not my brother either. Okay, well. See you tomorrow then. Hey, you want some of that good food now? Yeah, sure. I guess that'll be okay. Well, if you're gonna be going to school and working for me, you're probably gonna need some energy. That's good thinking. Right, Come to the house. Where's your car? That's in a junkyard in New York, as far as I know why. So you just ride bikes? Yeah, I get better miles that way. You shoot hoops? Not in a long, long time. You strike me as a guy with a big appetite. You think you can handle two sandwiches? Yeah, I'm a big eater. I practically always eat two of everything. All right. Maybe only put tomatoes on one. I don't want to overeat on tomatoes. You know? That's good thinking. You sure your parents won't mind you working for me? Maybe I should give them a call. What's their number? They're never home. Never? They're at their job a lot. They work really hard. Well, if that runs in the family, I guess I found myself a good assistant bicycle fixer. You got any toilet paper? Yes, I'd like the number for anyone with the last name of Day in Pancho Tula. What about any towns close by? This got mixed in with some of my CMH paperwork, one of yours. Oh yeah, Maisie Day. Huh. Wait a second. Wait, this was two days ago. Where are her kids? Can't help you there, honey. Okay, well give Beth a hug for me. Okay. Take a seat. <clears throat> well, young Mr. Dunham. No, I'm not so young anymore. Knew you were in town. I saw you on your bicycle. And at the diner, giving sage advice on pie. I understand you're staying out at your parents' house. You know a lot of things. Oh, this is my town. That house sitting empty was sad. So what brings you back? Just seeing if I left anything behind, maybe. Or anyone, maybe. Coffee? No. Good call. It's awful. So listen, Chief Tate. Ah, oh, just plain old Tate's fine. That's what everybody else calls me, except my ex-wife. Yeah, what does she call you? Long distance, preferably. I'm sorry, what were you, uh, what were you gonna say? I had kind of a funny question. Funny ha-ha? Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's too bad. Go ahead, shoot. I'm just curious if anybody's called on any missing kids. Missing kids? What? What missing kids? Well, I don't know that there are any. I'm just asking. Well, you're right about one thing. That is a funny question. I saw a couple of kids walking outside of town. Passed them all on a bike. Just curious if maybe they were missing from somewhere, run away from home, something like that. And why would you think that? I didn't recognize them. Well, why don't you describe them for me? What do they look like? I only saw them for a couple seconds. Didn't really get a good look. So, so how is it that you know you don't recognize them? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Maybe you just stop by to say hello. I guess that's it. Well, hello. And goodbye. Gabe, you don't mind if I call you Gabe, do you? Well, that's what everybody else calls me. Except your wife. You know, that was very nearly funny. Ha ha. I wonder if you do me a favor. Next time you see those kids, ask them for me if they happen to be missing. Or you can just get a better look at them. You said that would help somebody around here do their job a whole lot easier. Careful out there on that bicycle. Hello. What you want? I'm looking for Maisie Day's children. Who are you? I'm Glennis Harmon, County Social Services. And who might you be? What's it to you? Well, the rental agency has Maisie's name on record at this address. Yeah, well, I'm the one paying the rent for the last couple of months, and Maisie, well, she ain't coming back. I'm sorry for your loss. And I need to see Tevin and Angel Day. Well, they ain't here. Where are they? How should I know? Do you think we could go inside? No. I simply need to verify that the children are not on the premises. I told you, they ain't here. Shall I call the police? They ran away a couple days ago, all right? Same day as when Maisie died. And you didn't notify anyone of the children's disappearance? I didn't say they disappeared, lady. I, I said they run off. OK, so you're telling me that an 11-year-old boy and a 5-year-old girl have been missing for two nights, and you didn't even call the police? Hey, lady. <laughs> They ain't my kids. I mean, do you have any photographs of them? What for? Because that might help us find them. You know, you never can tell. There may be a reward in it for you. Yeah, right. Wait here. Can you find them? I want to see that boy. The kid stole money from me. Thanks. to the customers. Lunch crowd's gone. I think my minions can manage for a while. Wow. You have minions? Oh, yeah. Minions. Onions. I've got lots of stuff. It's good to see you. Is it? Yeah. It is. I just realized something. I've always known where this place was, but I've never actually been here. So no one's been living here the entire time you're gone? It's hard to believe. It looks really good fixed up, like lived in. Thanks. Yeah, I've had a lot of time on my hands. Is this finished? It's a work in progress. I am getting tired of having to lock the bikes in the cellar every night. How long you been back? 
four months, maybe? Five? I just, I, I didn't know what to say. It's been a long time. And why'd you come back? You just disappeared. It wasn't my idea. I never even got a chance to tell you how sorry I was about your parents. I, just, I, I heard you got married. You heard, huh? Yeah, it's on the street. Ooh, well, that didn't take. Yeah, I know the show. Kids? Looks like you've got a customer. Nah, it's just a friend. Maybe I should go. You just got it. Well, that makes one of us. Kevin, right? Wasn't sure you were serious about working. What is this, like a thousand dollar bill? It's a million. You should keep this thing in a safe. No, what if it were real? Oh. You can have it if you want. Yeah. What's it say? Here's the million dollar question. What is the worth of your soul if you haven't accepted? accepted? Except if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your savior. So what soul exactly? Some really good music from a long time ago. Huh? Well, in this case, it's... Well, let me see that. Read it out loud. Um, and again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Oh, ha ha, that's crazy. A camel? I've seen pictures of those things. It's like bigger than a horse. Something that big supposed to fit through someone's eye? Is that what it says? Uh, it, it, well. So you don't get it either? It basically means that if all you want to do is make money, you ain't going to get into heaven. Oh, right. Heaven. They talk about that at Sunday school. You go to Sunday school? Nah. That's for like little kids. My sister has a friend who goes. She believes in all that stuff. But she don't. Of course not. Do you? I don't know. I don't know. I used to. When you were a little kid? And when I was growing up for a while, too. Isn't that like believing in Santa Claus? What, you don't believe in Santa Claus either? Give me a break. So what's this word again? Savior. That's like a hero, right? Someone who saves you from drowning? Yeah, sort of. Jesus Christ, he's supposed to be God's kid, right? It's supposed to be. And he died a long time ago. That's what they said. So how is he supposed to save you? I don't know. Hey, I think that bike's ready to be tested. Although it doesn't have a basket. You know, if you have a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Did a little more work this morning. 
on the one you rode yesterday with the basket. I could ride that one. Yeah. Yeah. Glennis, Glennis, what fair wind of fortune blows you into my office today? Oh, Tate, if it were only for the food and the poetic license. If only you hadn't revoked that poetic license. Oh, once upon a time. Once upon a time. So I've got a situation. Of course you do. I'm all ears. Hardly. <laughs> Thank you. So one of my cases OD'd a couple of days ago, and her kids are missing. Now, the guy who lives in her place said that they ran off. How old are the kids? 11 and 5. And no one from your department called my office when Medic 1 brought her in. Ouch. Who responded to the call? No. Nugent. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, is this that woman out in Roscoe? What was it last week, Tuesday? Yeah. And no one in county has any idea where these kids are. So I talked to Trailways. I checked with Truck Ranch to see if maybe they hitched a ride. And no one has seen any loose kids. What? Oh, um, somebody came into my office today and was asking me questions about missing children. Really? Really. Said he, he's seen a couple of kids who didn't recognize him. And that's it? And he came to see you? It sounds so shocked. You know, some people actually like to see me, Glennis. Okay, well, I need to find out what this guy knows about these kids. So do you have a name and an address? Yes, I do. Go. Oh. Dunham. It was on the east side off of Rimrock. Uh -huh. Can't miss his house. Turned the whole front yard into a bike shop. Gabriel Dunham. Parents died in a car accident when he was in high school. And he wasn't in the car with him. Right. But his younger brother was. You know the case. I do. I had to place the boys, and it didn't turn out well. We got split up. So I guess I will be headed out to see Mr. Dunham. If you should happen to find yourself in need of a police escort, I'm your man. He got it. Thanks. Still looking for that boy? I think I just seen him. Yeah. Don't know. Bike's gone. You ran over his bike, dummy. Do you remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Scratched my truck. Well, how about you just don't be wasting my time seeing things? Yeah, but who's the little turd I see over there? Look and see what just crawled out from underneath a rock. 
Why don't you do me a favor, Dilbert? Go play in the streets of somebody else's town. And that calls me Dilbert. Oh, that's right, because that's the, uh, that's the comic strip, right? Then how come it is that you're not making me laugh? So your customer base is getting younger and younger every day. God, you got a little something there on your neck. It's funny. You're a funny man. Yeah, I am, all right. I'm a funny man. I'll be here all week. Why don't you see to it that you're not? Been a long time, Gabriel. Yeah, not long enough. How are you? Look, there was a lot of things that happened a long time ago. I did not come here to start. For what? Open old wounds? I'm here about something else. What could we possibly have to talk about? I'm looking for two missing kids. Well, I don't have them. And if I did, I certainly wouldn't give them to you. I did everything I could, Gabriel. I was so young. I mean, I, I, was, I was basically an intern. It was, it was my first case. We tried to keep you guys together. It just, it just didn't work out. Not for Jerry, they didn't. No, not for Jerry. They ask how he's doing. You can ask all you want. Listen, Tate said that uh, you saw some kids that you thought might be runaways. I didn't say that. Do they look like these? I couldn't tell you. Well, you know, I really would like to find them. Their mother died. Is that why they ran away? No, I don't even think they know. How'd she die? It was drug related. It was a really bad home situation. I think they left because of that the day before yesterday. Grandparents, aunts, uncles? No, there is no one. They have nowhere to go. And you're gonna come to their rescue? No, I, I'm gonna try to help them. Like you helped me and my brother? I only wanna help Gabriel. That is the truth, whether you believe it or not. Look, if you see them, please call me. Thank you. There you are. I thought you left town or something. Who is that lady? Nobody. Just a customer. Yeah, she leave a bike to fix? No, she didn't. She'll be back. When? Does it matter? She was here about a bike? Yeah. I quit. Is that right? Any particular reason? I ain't working for no liar. What are you talking about? Seen that lady before. She ain't got no bike. <sighs> no, she doesn't. It's just somebody I used to know. Sure got a lot of old friends. She isn't my friend. And it was from a long time ago, back from when I was maybe a few years older than you. After my parents died. So you consider yourself a lucky man? Luckier than my brother. That's the first time you've mentioned Jerry in a while. Have you heard from him? No. Where is he living now? No, it doesn't matter. It's a bad place wherever he is. My father saw to that. And then the foster parents 
were worse than he was. And... Don't stop there. And what? You were saying, foster parents, as bad as your father was. Worse, way worse. And? And I wasn't there to help him. That wasn't your fault. You were placed in different homes. This shouldn't have happened. You can't change what was, Gabe. You can only change what will be. Parents died when you were a kid. That sucks. Yes. It surely does. Got any brothers or sisters? Brother. What about you? Sister. Listen, you mind if I come back and help you with the bikes a little bit later? I got some stuff I gotta get home. Oh, sure. No problem. Well, hey, you want some of that food now? I guess. Will it fit? That's not a four course meal. Just some sandwiches I made earlier. Some mac and cheese. It's really good cold. Okay, sure. Thanks. Hey, you think maybe your family would like to come over for dinner sometime? I don't know. Or maybe just you and your sister could come over for dinner. When your parents are working late. Like when? How about tonight? Okay, I guess. Come on. Good. Here you go. Thank you. Uh, somebody's becoming a regular. I hear the pecan pie is really good here. So they tell me. I'd like one. You want a piece of pie? No, I want a pie. You want a whole pie? Is that weird? You can get it cheaper at the bakery. We sell it by the size here. It's more expensive that way. It's, it's homemade, right? I made it myself. Well, there you go. I'm having company for dinner. Uh, there's a piece missing. Is that, is that OK? Mm -hmm. No problem. Don't look good. I was pulling out a pie with a piece missing. Oh, trust me, these guests won't mind. Right. Hey, would you like to? I forget it. You're, you're working. What? Just a crazy idea. <clears throat> what? I wonder if maybe you might want to join us. But of course you're working. Nah, she's off tonight. Come on, you never take a night off. Get out of here. Peg and I got a handle. Right, Peg? All right, then. I'll see you tonight. See you tonight. Really? for being fashionably late. Never wanted to be the first at a dinner party. I don't think this is the type of dinner party you're used to. Can I offer you something to drink? What are my choices? Sparkling cider. OK. Something smells delicious. Enchiladas. No. I didn't see them on your menu, so. On my menu? I don't want to make you something that you make every day. Better than I do. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. So what kind of dinner party is this? I think you're about to find out. Whose car is that? It's hers. 
She's a friend of mine. Hi. You saw her this afternoon, remember? Uh, Emma, this is Tevin. She's just a friend, that's it? Ain't nothing else? Nothing else I can think of. Your parents aren't coming after all? Emma made pie. And I brought ice cream. Well, I guess it's okay then. Wait just a second. Apparently, it's okay then. Hi, I'm Emma. And who might you be? This is my sister, Angel. Hi, Angel. What a perfect name for you. I hope you'll sit next to me. So, you know Gabriel? Not until now. Hey there, Angel. Gabriel's the same name as an angel. That's right. But there's only room for one angel here, and that's you. You can call me Gabe. This is the guy I told you about. He's my boss. Oh, your boss? Yeah, I'm his, like his... Apprentice bicycle tester. Wow, that sounds like a pretty big job. So, your parents aren't coming? No, why? They work late a lot. So you live close to here? Why are you asking so many questions? They just moved near here. Right, buddy? We didn't just move here. Yes, we did, remember? Who wants to eat? Can we say grace? Maggie's mom always says it at their house. Thank you, Lord, for these blessings we're about to receive. Thank you for the food on our plates. some pecan pie. With ice cream? But you know who brought? <laughs> I got it. Why aren't your kids here? Angel, honey, I don't have any children. How come? You don't like kids? I love kids. Then how come we don't have any? Well, sometimes things don't happen the way you want them to. How come? Angel, shut up. Hey, don't talk to your sister that way. She's family. Oh. You guys want hot pie with cold ice cream or cold pie with hot ice cream? There's no such thing as hot ice cream. Dang. <laughs> I really wanted some. <laughs> we gotta go. Well, it's after dark, so I'll just drive you. Now we can walk. That's okay, they don't live far. Hey, Tevin, I got something for you. I really did enjoy getting to know you, Angel. I wish I had one more feel. Here you go, Tev. You bring him back when you come back to work. Bring Angel if you want. We have coloring books. Really? Okay. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. We used to dance to this song. No. We only really danced that one time. The water is wide. I wish we picked a longer song. What 
Jesus. That's my little tree house. They ran away from home. Well, where are their parents? Their mom died. I don't think their father's in the picture. How long ago did this happen? A couple days ago, I think. But they don't act like kids whose mother just died. I'm not sure they know. And how do you know? It's kind of a long story. Well, why are they here? They can't just live in a treehouse. I'm sure people are looking for them. They can't just be outside. Yes, they can. Until I figure out what to do. Come on, Gabe. You know what to do. And what happens after that? They won't be sleeping in a treehouse. And probably not together anyway. What does that mean? What makes you think that they'll be placed together in a home? Of course they will. They're brother and sister. So? So they'll keep them together. Or they'll try to. They don't just tear families apart if they can help it. Right. Hey. And you know this how? They're five years apart. One boy, one girl. Different fathers. Dysfunctional upbringing. No other relatives. Are you kidding me? Chances of them staying together, even money, at best. I don't have much faith in the system. Do you know what happened after I left Ponchatoula? After your parents died? Night of the district tournament finals. My father was getting primed for the game. Something happened, he hit my mother. For what? <sighs> he never needed a reason. But I decided right then, that was never gonna happen again, and I told him so. He knew I meant it, too. So what happened? I went to the game. Yeah, what I remember is my dad in the stands, my poor mom and brother with him. Was he still drunk? Ah, at that time, much worse. Cheering for the other team, shouting awful things. Being such a jerk, security tossed him at halftime. I don't remember that. Well, why would you? You never even met him. Or even if we had the time to. I never would have brought you around there. Not with him around. My mom and brother, of course they left with him. They never made it home. Old man ran a red light. Mom and dad were killed. Just like that. And Jerry, my brother, on his left side was pretty much crushed. He was in hospitals and rehab for over a year. I was in foster care. Moving around. I ended up in a place with a bunch of teenagers. But Jerry, he's eight years younger than me. It just wasn't good. I mean, that's what these kids have to look forward to. What happened to you and your brother doesn't mean it's going to happen to these kids. What if it does? Well, one way or another, they have to be inside. Have a home. I'll figure something out. We will figure something out. Two heads are better than one, right? Listen, my father wasn't the only alcoholic in the family. I kind of figured that was the case. I've seen a lot of hurt, Emma. Caused some of it, too. Where's your brother now? California. Is he all right? Last I heard. 
until one day I get a call and he won't be. He's tried to kill himself twice. How? If you don't mind me asking. Pills. I mean, I'd use a gun. Why? If you're that sad. Hey, finish it right. Do you ever get that sad, Gabe? I have my moments. Do you have a gun? And that coffee table. Morning, Tay. Good morning. Coffee? Yeah, but you better make it to go in a kind of hurry. All right. You want a fritter with that? No, I better not. Dispatches are putting on weight. It's okay. <sighs> it is a mystery to us all. Who was that woman that you were in here with yesterday? Hot. Oh, Glennis Harmon, Social Services. Why? No reason, really. Just curious. I thought I heard her mention Gabe Dunham. Really? Well, since when have you been listening in on official police business, young lady? Since it had anything to do with Gabe Dunham. Oh, now I'm starting to get the picture. Mm-hmm. Kind of hard not to listen in, Tate, seeing as how much official business you do in my diner. Well, I'm just a man of the people. Uh-huh. <laughs> you are. Yeah, ah. Uh, there's a fritter in there. Nothing gets by you. That's why I'm the chief. I cannot waste food. Put it on my tab. Are you still going to meetings? Yeah, I've been coming to see you, Doc. I don't think I can stomach any more of the psycho babble. Is that what you consider this? Psycho babble. No, nothing personal. It's personal for you. It's boring for me. It's not boring for me. Yeah, that's because you're getting paid. Do you resent that? My being paid. <laughs> that's clever. The way you phrase that. How so? Being paid, like the money just appears in your mailbox. Ah, uh, so I am to presume that you resent paying me. I resent. Having to pay for this book to speed along the probation process. So you don't see any merit in these sessions? I think it's a waste of my time. Then don't make it a waste of mine. You want me to leave? Fine. No, I want you to stop being gutless. Watch yourself, Doc. No, I'm watching you. I'm watching you avoid every question. You know, run away from all of your issues because you're too gutless to deal with it. What happened happened. Talking about it won't make it better. No, but until you talk about it, until you deal with it, you don't need a gun. You're already dead. Now, it takes courage to live. Anybody can just go through the motions. Anybody can breathe. Anybody can just eat a gun. But it takes courage to live. So what about a Gabe? You have what it takes? Last day in diner. No, she's out. Who's this? No, I don't. You want to leave a number? What? I'm sorry, you break it up. Tell Emma the tree house is empty. No, the tree house!
Look, man, I'm not here to negotiate with you, all right? You knew the price coming in. Don't mess with me. Hey, deal. Oh, son of a... I can't help these kids if you won't tell me where they are. Not before I get some answers. Okay, you're not exactly in a position to be making demands. Neither are you. You're not a family member. And as I understand it, neither is anybody else. Oh, Roman. You got a second? Emma, this is Roman Sewell. Roman, you remember Maisie Day? We spoke about her. Did you find the kids? Emma here knows where they are. Well, that's good news. But she's not telling. And why not? That's a really good question. What's up, JD? Oh, the tree house? It's empty? OK. Dunham. I'm on Mates Road, just south of the 22. I've just been shot. Too late. Cops are coming. They'll be here in a hurry. Who are you, the Lone Ranger? Why don't you have a seat? Oh, I know him. That's that bicycle geek. Yeah? The bicycle geek, this ain't none of your business. I know those kids. Yeah, you think so? Well, so do I. I got business with this one. Hold on. Where is it? Leave them alone! <laughs> Make this cute. <laughs> Leave them alone! You open your mouth one more time and I kick your teeth down your throat. One at a time. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Give it to me. Leave them alone. Huh? Where is it? Where? I have it! Where? I hit it. Yeah? Uh, believe this? I know I believe that. We'll be seeing you soon. We'll visit that secret hiding place of yours. Let's roll. Hey, we're out of here. Nice gunshot wound. Hey, thanks, Vinny. I owe you one. You got that right. Yeah. Hey, kid. I'm not going to tell you again. Don't move. Stay right there. All right, look. If you don't want to press charges, it's fine. It just means less paperwork for me. And what about these kids? They obviously can't go home. The county's got people taking care of situations like this all the time. <sighs> yeah. Been there. Look. These kids have been staying with me. Why not whoa, let them? Whoa, whoa. They've been staying with you. Well, yeah, sort of. Yeah, they sir. needed a place to stay. Yes, sir. You can't just keep runaway kids. What, I should have sent them home? What's left of them there? Hey, kid. Were you, uh... Were you home when the ambulance came to get your mother? Yeah. No. She was real sick and she... Yeah, she was just too sick. Mama died, Squirt. So now we need to find some other family members who can help take care of you and Phil. I'm her family. And I can take care of them. Until you figure things out. I don't know. Look, I got a three-bedroom house. Most of it's not even being used. And you can call Glennis Harmon and make sure everything's okay. She's already on her way. Great. Billy. Yeah. Hey, do me a favor. What's going on? Are you all right? 
Why wouldn't I be? That's why you're such a nice shot. No, not a shot. I'm not a shot. Just knocked around a little bit. I'm fine. Mama died. I know, honey. And I am so sorry. Phil, why didn't you bring the kids downtown? Sounds like you want them arrested. You wanted them, you got them. Why did you bring her here? Hey, I brought her because she wanted to come. And you lied to me. Me? Lie? Now there's a switch. No, 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 you don't turn this around. Those kids were staying here. Not here. On your property. And you said you didn't see them. Sue me. You guys coming in? Or do you want to stay with Cruella de Vil? Gabriel, they aren't your children. Well, they're not yours either. Oh, that's right. You're the only one that knows what's best for kids. Tevin, wait. Hey. Hey. Look, I'm Glennis. Do you remember me? I was friends with your mom. My mom's dead. No, I know, and that's why I'm here. To make sure that there are people that you can stay with. I can take care of us just fine, and Gabe can help. I know, sweetie, but Gabe lives alone, and he has a job, and, you know, it might be hard for him. She can help? Mm, yes, I can, Angel. But Glennis is right, and she knows a lot of things. Come on, Angel, let's go inside. Angel, I'm sorry I didn't make it to the store today. Uh, Angel, I keep that door closed. And not locked, I see. I live alone. Yeah, my point exactly. You know what, kids? It's time to go now. Let's go. We're not going anywhere with you. Tevin, I am responsible for you. Do you know what that means? Look, it means that it's my job to see that you're safe. And that is a very important job. Yeah, well, I got a job to do, too. What's that job, Devin? I work for him. OK. Well, you kids just wait here for one minute, OK? I, I need to speak to Gabriel, please. They can't stay here, Gabriel. That's a crock. No, you're putting them uh, with a bunch of strangers who don't even know them? That's a crock. OK, how do you expect this to work? I mean, you barely even know these kids. I know them enough. How do you propose to take care of them? I mean, you don't have a car. Oh, or a job. I'm self-employed. Right, right. You're a self-employed loner with a DUI on his background check. I mean, what, you don't think I've done my homework? Oh, and you have a bottle of whiskey in the coffee table next to a pistol. Which has never been opened. Right, yeah, that makes all the difference in the world. It does to me. What happened to them? It's an unusual situation. What happens to them today, right now, if they go with you? They're going to be with somebody. Somebody they don't know. So how about they stay here just for this afternoon until you figure it out? Okay, you don't have to go back to work? I'm the boss. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I. I don't know if I trust Gabriel. I do. Nice. You want to try one? Mm -hmm. Here you go. Oh. Uh, I wonder what's taking Tevin so long. I'm sure it's been a while since he's got to use a real toilet. That's our bathroom over there. Not anymore, it's not. Good. It's gross. Angel, you don't want to live in this thing anymore, do you? No. I want my bed, and I want to go home. I don't think you can go home, honey. How come? With your mommy gone, it's not a good place for you right now. Can we stay here? Got lots of doors I saw them on the way when I used to potty. 
I wish it was that simple, kiddo. Why ain't it? I can pay you. I got money. Yeah? How is it that you have money? Well, you know, traveling money. Where'd you get money, Kevin? Was it from that guy? What'd you call him, Dell? What guy? Tavin, does the money belong to him? How much? I don't know. A lot, I guess. I never counted. Where is it? Well, that's a lot, Tavin. How much of this is Dell's? All of it? I can see why he wants it back. Ain't y'all sweet? Where is it? Where's your buddy? Getting his nails done. What's it to you? I Maybe mean, just ain't got the taste for what needs doing. I have what you came for. About 3,000. Sure. Pretty much makes you a dead man. Hey, let's get y'all out here, okay? Hey, y'all, no y'all come that. out. Come on. Let's go inside, shall we? Patients really wear thin with you. Leave him alone! Please! Huh? Feisty! Huh? Feisty! What do you want to say, her? Huh? Stop. <laughs> Funny guy. I'm disappointed in you. Look at this. Well, that's seen better days. You know, I'm, I'm actually more of a revolver guy myself. I taught the kid how to Load and unload one. Didn't I, kid? No! Oh! Just save your life. Come here, kid. No, tell it stay there. Oh, is that right? How about his little sister here, huh? No. Hey, Angel, come here. No. Oh, she yours now? That's right. So is Tevin. You sure you can afford him? It's about to get real costly. Last chance, funny man. I'm not letting you hurt these kids. Fine. Just be you then. Shit.
when he was herding us into the house. I prayed that he wouldn't hurt you. I can't remember the last time I prayed. When he pulled that trigger, thank God that gun wasn't loaded. But it was loaded. What do you mean? I keep it loaded. Always. Maybe miracles do happen. Hmm. I see in the Bible, I figure you'd get around to open it one day and you'd find it. Why? To pay for the bike we took. I didn't know how much it cost, so. I just left with half of what we had. Snuck in this morning before you got up. I didn't want you to be sad. Thank you, Tevin. I don't know how sad I would have been about the bike. I didn't want you to be sad. Why not? Yeah, Gabe's our friend. Yeah, the kids don't need a friend, Gabriel. They need parents. So what do you think? Hard to say. Courts aren't big on unmarried adoptive parents. Well, what if? Yeah, what if? Like they'd ever let that happen. Even if they could get it approved. Look, all I want is what's best for the kids. And did I mention I have a lawyer in the family? I don't understand. Well, I would like for you all to meet Beth Sewell. I bet she didn't know I was a godmother. What's a godmother? A godmother is somebody who loves you very much. That's right, Angel. And Beth is going to be an attorney. And she's a court-appointed special advocate. Oh, yeah. I've read about this program. They help uh, keep kids from getting lost in the system. Where were they 20 years ago? We didn't have then what we have now, Gabriel. And I'm very sorry for that. What if? What if? We still have a lot of hoops to jump through, Gabriel. Well, call me Gabe. All my friends do. Glennis! Everything gonna be all right here? Yeah, it's gonna be fine here, Tay. It's gonna be just fine. Let's go. See ya.